Hello, hello, thanks for tuning in. My name is Bald Spice, and this is a video all about Destiny 2 class options. This is the first video in a new series where I'll be breaking down the basics of Destiny 2. My goal here is to provide helpful resources for new players, or folks that are just getting back into D2 after a long break. That said, I will be continuing to put out videos and guides for current content as we go along. Whether you picked up the free-to-play version or grabbed the newest expansion, Beyond Light, your very first step is going to be picking a class. And you may be asking, which class is best? Or how do I know which is the most fun or best suits my playstyle? This video will help. Before we get into it though, I did want to mention that if you are a new player, or even an experienced player and are simply looking for more folks to play the game with, our Discord community has a ton of nice people who love Destiny. We tackle endgame content, both PvP and PvE, on a weekly basis and would love to have you join us. The Discord link is in the description below, along with my Twitch link. I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday over on Twitch. Feel free to come hang out and ask whatever questions you have about the game. With all that said, let's get into it. You're ready to start playing Destiny 2. What class do you choose? Well, you've got three options, listed in no particular order. Titan, Hunter, Warlock. Now if you want the TLDR, Hunter's best, because they have cloaks. If you'd like more details though, keep watching. First off, let's talk about the high level differences between classes in general and how much these things will actually impact your gameplay experience. Classes in Destiny 2 are not as distinct as other MMOs. For example, in World of Warcraft, a priest plays very differently compared to a warrior. In Destiny 2, on the other hand, all classes have access to the same exact weapons, and your weapons are your main form of combat engagement. Every class also has the same number of subclasses, Arc, Solar, Void, which all have three unique skill trees with them, as well as Stasis, which uses the new Aspect Fragment system. Within these subclasses and trees, each class has a unique grenade, melee, class special, and super abilities, which are more or less equivalent to an ultimate in a game like Overwatch. In addition, each class has a very unique jump, and the Destiny community is full of very strong opinions about which jump is best, Hunter, again. Finally, if you care about your Guardian's curb appeal, each class has a different aesthetic in terms of armor design. Important to note here is that for any class, you can eventually unlock all of their subclass abilities and freely swap between them. Alright, from here we'll get into specifics, and we'll start with Titans. Ah, Titans. The lovable, crayon-eating, shoulder-charging, punch-loving, simple-minded Titans. Okay, but for real, thematically speaking, Titans are like your warrior, bruiser, barbarian, tank class. Aesthetically, their armor sets are generally big and bulky, particularly on the masculine character models. Your unique class item, like the Hunter Cloak, is called a Mark, and it's essentially a mini cloak for your butt. Titans have what can be best described as a jet pack-ish jump. You essentially fly in the direction you want to go. Every class, like I said before, has a unique class ability. The Titan's class ability is a barrier that they can deploy on the ground. You get access to two different kinds of barriers, one that is mainly intended to provide protection from enemy fire, and a shorter one which you can crouch behind which increases your reload speed temporarily. Some armor will also modify your barricade's behavior, for example, allowing you to shoot through the barricade at enemies, which is particularly useful in PvP. Alright, let's dig into Titan subclasses. On a high level, you've got four, Arc, Solar, Void, and Stasis. The first three are light-based, and Stasis is darkness-based, and requires beyond light. For our purposes here though, light versus dark doesn't really matter. First up is the Striker Titan. The Arc Titan Super has two variants, one called Thunder Crash, which essentially turns you into a flying missile that you can direct and smash into a target, and another that allows you to roam around looking for targets to punch or ground slam. Different perk combinations will give you additional grenades, increase your melee range, give you a shoulder charge ability, which is a one-hit kill in PvP, or grant health on melee kill. Did I mention that Titans like to punch stuff? Next is Sunbreaker. The Solar Titan Super also has two variants. One lets you throw numerous flaming hammers at targets from range, think Thor, and another that gives you one giant flaming maul which you can smash into the ground or spin around with like a tornado. Different perk combinations will give you a shoulder charge ability that can inflict a pretty significant debuff to increase damage against a target in PvE, or turn your melee into a small throwing hammer which you can then retrieve after use. The Void Titan Super basically turns you into Captain America. You get a shield, which you can throw at targets and slam into targets for heavy damage. One skill tree also gives you the option to deploy a gigantic bubble shield on the ground, which grants armor to those standing inside and a damage buff to anyone who passes through it. Another unique perk can cause your grenade to suppress enemy targets, which can actually pull other guardians out of their super in PvP. 
Last up is Behemoth, which is the stasis super that came with Titans in Beyond Light. In general, for all classes, Stasis introduced an entirely new gameplay mechanic, which has been the source of a bit of debate uh, within the community since launch, but it, it's the concept of freezing and shattering targets. The Stasis Titan Super is a little, shall we say, OP at the moment, at least in PvP. Supers are always strong, and unless you totally screw it up, you're pretty much guaranteed to get kills when you cast your super. But Behemoth is currently on another level. You basically can't die, and it lasts forever. Smash into the ground to create an AoE cone of ice crystals, which you can then shatter for massive damage. Melee slam into targets from very, very far away. It's nuts, to say the least. And very fun. But again, expect a tuning at some point in the future. All right. Next up is Hunters. Hunters are the rogue, stealth, marksman, agility class. Hunter is also the most played class in Destiny 2, at least last time I checked. Partly because cloaks, again. Also for a while, I think the new player experience may have auto-selected Hunter for you. I'm not 100% sure on that one though, to be honest. I know it doesn't as of now. Aesthetically, Hunter armor sets are usually a bit trimmer, though not always, and often feature adornments like knives, and again, cloaks. Hunters have a more traditional video game jump, double jump, and later triple jump. I would argue that if you've never played Destiny 2, Hunter movement will probably be the easiest to take advantage of, but that's a small benefit. It's not like Hunters are 10 times easier than Titans or Warlocks to move around with, and you'll get used to whichever class you use fairly quickly. The Hunter's class ability is a dodge. You'll get access to two different types of dodge, Gambler's Dodge, which when used near an enemy will replenish your melee ability energy, and Marksman Dodge, which will reload your currently equipped weapon. Some of your subclass options will also add modifications and perks to your dodge ability, such as invisibility. Just like Titans, Hunters have access to Arc, Solar, Void, and Stasis subclass options. First up is Arc Strider. The Hunter Arc Super gives you a staff that can be used to rapidly strike a single target or quickly chain hits between multiple nearby targets. Different perk options will allow you to reflect damage back at an enemy, lunge further for melee attacks, and get your dodge back more quickly. Gunslinger is the Hunter Solar Super, and it also has two variants. Either a Marksman Pistol called Golden Gun, which allows you to potentially get multiple one-hit kills against your standard enemy, or potentially deal massive boss damage with the right gear. You can can also use a single AoE damage cast super called Blade Barrage. Perk variations can increase your weapon handling, and you get access to throwing knives which can also get one-hit kills if used effectively. The Hunter Void Super is called Night Stalker, and it has two variants as well, either a bow that creates tethers on the ground which slow, suppress, and increase damage against enemies, making it easier for you to take them out, or an ability called Spectral Blades which allows you to go invisible and spam light heavy attack combinations on nearby enemies. You also get temporary wall hacks. The biggest theme throughout the Night Stalker subclass is invisibility and smoke grenades, which essentially are in lieu of any powered melee ability. Different perk options will add invisibility to your dodge, crouch precision kills, or your smoke grenade. Last up is Revenant, only available in Beyond Light as it is the Hunter Stasis Super. It's essentially an AoE cast with two components. First, you'll throw out an axe that freezes nearby enemies. You'll then immediately follow that up with a second axe that creates a tornado at its location. The tornado then tracks nearby enemies, slowing and killing them. Your melee ability is a shuriken that can slow and freeze targets and can also ricochet off walls and around corners, making for some fun kills in PvP. You'll also get access to an ability called Shatter Dive, where you quickly slam down onto the ground. If done on or near ice or frozen targets, you can deal massive, and I mean massive, damage. Similar to Titan's Behemoth Super, it's a bit OP, as in make a lot of people mad at you when you kill their whole team with a single Shatter Dive levels of OP, like this. Last up, Warlocks. Warlocks are your nerds, your bookworms, your I enjoy taking tests in school friend. Thematically speaking, Warlocks are your mage, priest, wizard, scholar type class. Aesthetically, Warlocks wear robes, always. Warlocks got the short end of the stick with class items. They have what are called bonds, which is a fancy name for upper arm bracelet that you can barely see. Warlocks have perhaps the most unique jump, and I use jump loosely here. It's called a glide, and you basically just float around. It's sort of similar to the Titan feel, but it is still unique. It arguably takes the most getting used to of the three, but folks who like it, love it. 
Oh, and for one class in particular, you can choose to turn your glide into a teleport-like ability called Blink. This has more PvP applications than PvE, but it's worth knowing about. The Warlock's class ability is called a Rift. It's essentially a small pool of light that they place on the ground, and when any friendly player stands in it, they'll either be healed via Healing Rift, or have their damage increased via Empowering Rift. And, just like both Titans and Hunters, Warlocks have access to Arc, Solar, Void, and Stasis subclasses. Stormcaller, the Arc Warlock Super, has two variants. One essentially turns you into Emperor Palpatine from Star Wars, and the other puts all that Arc energy into a focused single beam. Different perk combinations get you a ranged melee or a temporary Arc Soul which will float next to you and shoot at enemies along with you. Dawnblade, the Solar Warlock Super, has, you guessed it, two main variants. You can either rain down flaming swords from the sky or create a giant well of light that heals guardians who stand inside of it. The former is very popular in PvP, while the latter is arguably the most popular PvE subclass for endgame content. Perk combinations will give you ranged melee, healing grenades, the ability to shoot while gliding in the air, and a very cool movement ability called Icarus Dash, which is superb in PvP. Voidwalker, the Void Warlock Super, has a couple variants as well. You can either shoot a giant orb of void light called a Nova Bomb, or you can use what's called Nova Warp, where you float and teleport around the map, triggering void explosions near enemies. Different perk combinations will give you supercharged grenades and a melee that heals you on kill. Last up is Shade Binder, which is only again available in Beyond Light, it's the Stasis Warlock Super, and it allows you to shoot freezing bolts of ice at enemies to, well, freeze them. You can then cast an AoE attack that shatters any frozen enemies, by the way this AoE goes through walls. You will also unlock an ability that changes the freeze effect to nearby enemies when you get kills, and causes your rift to freeze nearby enemies when you cast it. Alright, that's an overview of each class and its associated subclasses. So, the big question still remains. Which one is best? Honestly, and you might have seen this coming, this ultimately comes down to preference. In PvE, all classes are viable and bring interesting kits to the table when facing endgame content. Do you want to add a bit of healing to your team? Go Warlock. Enjoy going invisible to pull off a clutch revive? Try Hunter. Like the taste of crayons, or protecting your team with a big bubble shield, Titan may be for you. I will say that at the time of this video, Stasis Hunter and Titan are both pretty dominant in PvP due to the aforementioned abilities. But again, expect a tuning. I wouldn't base your decision on which class to start with solely on this. Play the class that seems to be all around the most fun to you. And, important to note, is that you can ultimately play all three. You can have up to three characters on your account. Three characters, three classes, three times the fun. But seriously, pick Hunter, cause cloaks. That's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. I hope this video was helpful to all of you out there who are trying to figure out how to get started with Destiny 2. Again, if you haven't already, feel free to join our Discord or come hang out on Twitch. Links to both are in the description. And please, please, please hit that subscribe button with notifications to be notified when I post new content because more videos are coming that will hopefully be helpful to new players and veterans alike. Thanks so much, guys. See you next time.